The Korean War, often dubbed the Forgotten War, took place between the 25th of June 1950 and the 27th of July 1953. The war was fought between two countries, North Korea and South Korea. To understand the Korean War, we need to first understand the history of Korea. Before 1945, Korea was a unified country under the Japanese rule. Some of you might be wondering, how come Japan ruled Korea? Well, in 1895, Japan defeated China in the Sino-Japanese War. This war was between Japan and China. In 1905, Japan also defeated Russia in the Russo-Japanese War, a war between Japan and Russia. This made Japan the sole regional power, and it moved quickly to colonize Korea from 1910 to 1945. At the end of World War II in 1945, Korea was freed from Japanese control. The United States and the Soviet Union liberated and then divided Korea along the 38th parallel into two zones of occupation. The North was occupied by the Soviet Union, while the South was occupied by the American forces. In 1948, as a result of Cold War tensions, the occupation zones became two sovereign states divided along the 38th parallel. With the capitalist South ruled by Syngman Rhee and the communist North ruled by Kim Il-sung, in 1948 the Soviet troops withdrew from North Korea, and in 1949 the United States troops withdrew from South Korea. However, both North and South Korea claimed to be the sole legitimate government of all of Korea, and neither accepted the border as permanent. On the 25th of June 1950, North Korean forces crossed the 38th parallel and launched a surprise invasion of South Korea. North Korean forces under the leadership of Kim Il-sung defeated the South Korean forces, capturing the South Korean capital, Seoul, and then occupied the entire South Korea except for Pusan. This was a problem for the United States since President Truman of the United States wanted to contain the spread of communism. South Korea appealed for help, and the United Nations Security Council, backed by the United States, authorized the formation of the United Nations Army and the dispatch of forces to South Korea to repel the invasion. The Soviet Union did not use its veto power since it was boycotting the UN for recognizing Taiwan as China and not recognizing the People's Republic of China, so neither could support their ally North Korea at the Security Council meeting. Sixteen countries of the United Nations eventually contributed to the UN force, with the United States providing around 90% of the military personnel. In early July, the troops landed in South Korea, but they were soon pushed back, retreating to a small area behind a defensive line known as the Pusan Perimeter, waiting for reinforcement to arrive. In September 1950, a UN counteroffensive led by General Douglas MacArthur was launched at Incheon, cutting off North Korean troops and supply lines in South Korea. North Korean forces were forced back north, and soon Seoul was recaptured along with the whole of South Korea. But it seems this was not enough for General MacArthur. On October 1950, UN forces then invaded North Korea. On October 19th, the UN forces captured the capital city of North Korea, Pyongyang, and then moved rapidly towards the Yalu River, which was the border with communist China. China saw a security threat and retaliated by helping North Korea, thereby joining the war. China, along with their North Korean and Soviet allies, pressed their offensive, invading the South and capturing Seoul by early January 1951. In March 1951, more UN troops were sent to Korea. Eventually, they recaptured Seoul, and the communist forces were pushed back to positions around the 38th parallel where the war had begun. Armistice negotiations began at Kaesong in July 1951, but a deal could not be reached, partly due to disagreements over the issue of prisoner of war exchanges. Therefore, two years of static fights followed, often in conditions of extreme cold and heat. In early 1953, 
General Dwight D. Eisenhower took over as the United States president and sought an end to the war. On the 27th of July, 1953, the combat ended when the Korean Armistice Agreement was signed. The agreement created the Korean Demilitarized Zone to separate North and South Korea, which exists up to date. No peace treaty was ever signed, and thus the two Koreas are still at war, engaged in a frozen conflict. The Korean War was a major conflict of the Cold War and among the most destructive conflicts of the modern era, with approximately 3 million war fatalities and a larger proportional civilian death toll than World War II or the Vietnam War. Subscribe and hit the like button for more history content.